Okay, just to name a few instances, we all know homosexuality is why Sodom and Gomorrah, Pompeii, and some modern-day cities were destroyed by God. But in all cases, only the cities were destroyed, and not the entire planet. However, some evidence has been unearthed recently that suggests the Babylonian Talmud contains statements by the ancient rabbis that declares the reason God destroyed the entire planet in Noah's day was not only because of the evil ways of mankind, but because of homosexuality, wherein men were given in marriage to other men, and that is why the entire world was destroyed. In Sodom, Gomorrah, Pompeii, and some of the modern-day cities, yeah, they too had homosexuality, but they never legalized same-sex marriage in those countries. The reason for this video is to ask for your help. I do have some information on this, as well as scripture in the New Testament that does in fact verify all this, and so I want to make a video on this as soon as possible. If any of you have any valid sources or an actual copy of the Babylonian Talmud that contains these statements, please contact this ministry as soon as possible. Now, notice this as well. As we know, the Lord placed a rainbow in the sky to remind the people of the world that he would not use a flood to destroy the planet again. And yes, we already know, thanks to Christian prophecy, that he's going to use fire this time. But my point is, the homosexual community is being moved by Satan as we speak to use the rainbow as a way to mock the Lord's promise. Now, if you compile all this with the fact that every prophecy that was to be fulfilled before the mark of the beast was to be enforced have been fulfilled, with the exception of less than a few, we know the end is near. And now we have additional evidence that just as it was in Noah's day, it is in our day. Yes, like then, the thoughts of men's hearts were evil continually, but also like back then, the enemy of souls is doing all he can to bring about God's wrath by the ultimate mockery of his image by not only moving men to embrace homosexuality, but to get them to actually legalize same-sex marriages so as to openly mock the creator God who made them. So again, if you have any information I can use to share with the people of God that can be used to help others see the urgency of the times we live in, please email me or post a comment to this video. Thank you for watching. God bless.